in pre I do not run into a cave system. As I said that, I break into this. Hi guys and welcome back to the next episode of One Life, the series where if I die from now on, I'm out. Gone, finite, done, finished, be gone, Satan, all of that. So, today we're playing it a little bit safer because we can't die, it's a bit scarier, but that's part of the fun. So there's a few things we need to do. Now, the last episode, we did a lot. We went to the nether, we built a sort of house, and everything's looking cute. But what we need to do is, similar to you can see over there, Cam's done, is a fence. Except we're going to actually do it correctly. I have no idea what that is. So, to do that, I'm smelting some stone. But I'm going to need a bunch of fence. So to do that, we're going to need to get a lot of wood. Now, I think I'm just going to go further into the birch forest. Because I don't really like the jacaranda fences. It's like a weird grey pink. Not a fan. So we're going to leave these here. Go into the birch forest and make some birch fences. We also need to go and get some animals. Because the food I have in my hot bar right now is the food I have. Like that's pretty much it. So need to make sure that we get more of that. We're also not wanting to go too far away from our house. Because if it becomes a blood moon, I will die. So I want to be able to make it back to the safety of my house if a blood moon does occur. I think I'm probably just going to cut down trees until my axe breaks. And then that should be enough for me to at least make some fences to start. I'll probably use birch fences at the moment and then in the future when someone eventually finds a mangrove area, I will buy slash borrow a sapling and start my life as the white mangrove tree god that I am. That was weird. I'm also just clearing a little bit so that I can maybe see Callum a bit easier. Oh, and there it goes. Do you mean so that he won't be blocked by all the trees? Now I think I want to make pens for some animals first. I feel like that's a smarter option before I wall them in. Okay, so we've got 45 fences. I'm just trying to figure out where to put it. I've built into the back of a hill, so it means around here isn't too flat. I suppose I could just do little pens at the moment and then make them bigger and move them once I've decided where I actually want them. Okay, that should probably be enough pens at the moment. I just need to make some gates. I also need to make another axe, which I could probably do with making a diamond axe, and then I've got it. Okay, and we'll just put gate on there. I'm not actually going to put the gates on at the moment, just because I need to go and get the actual animals. And I also need some seeds. Okay, because I noticed there are some chickens up here. So I'm just going to go and grab you and put you into an area. Come on, chickadees. Let's go down here. It's becoming night time. We don't want to be outside during night time. Perfect. Now I'm going to go inside and sleep before anything spawns because I'm terrified. Okay, new day. We have some chickens. That's perfect. Now I notice there are some sheep up there. We will go and grab them next. And any that don't go into my pen, I can just murder for food. There was one up here. Okay, I'm on. We'll grab your buddy over here too. Come on, you want it. I know you do. You want this wheat. My wheat brings all the sheep to the yard. Except that one apparently. He was not into it. I'll be back later to murder you. Okay, and now we need to find pigs or cows. Oh no, I can't get pigs because I don't have carrots. I need cows. Oh, there's a neighbor. Think noodles. Oh, I didn't really see it built like just behind me. How interesting. Also, you may have seen if you follow the One Life Twitter, but the crew have actually decided to leave One Life on their own accord. They decided that it was not for them. But we have added new members. We've added Nettie from season one, In the Littlewood, Big B Stats, and Jack Sucks at Life. So that's exciting. Okay, so this was the crew's house. Am I allowed to steal from it? Because, I mean, they're not here. They've got cows. And some chests that have got doors on them, which is a smart idea. They have food. They're not using it. I'm just going to take it. And maybe some sugar cane. And the chicken. Because it's one life. I need to be able to survive. And they're not here. They don't need it. Hello, chickens. I will leave. The beds are so colourful. I want them. No, I won't. But I do kind of want to take their cows. I'm too far away for it. It's not worth it. But let me know in the comment section down below if I'm allowed to take their things. I don't want to take all of it and then get people being mad at me. So let me know. Am I allowed to take their stuff or am I not? If it's yes, I will go back there and take it. I'm going to make sure to grab as many eggs as I can. Because I think I can just try and maybe spawn a few more chickens through eggs. But again, I won't do that until I've decided where I'm putting them. Because I feel like I might put them all in the hill. I mean, that was the plan was to like build a big tunnel into the hill. So I might put them in there. Now I need to make a bajillion more fences. And then I need to grab all of my stone and turn it into stone bricks. Okay, so I have 348 stone bricks to be exact. 
Now, I think I want to encase quite a large area just so that people know like, hey, that's Scott's area. Let's not go in it. I am realizing now like building on a hill is gonna make the wall a little bit awkward compared to like last season where I was in a nice flat area. But it doesn't really need to go too far behind the house because I'm gonna be building into the cave. Okay, so if we have a look on the mini map, we're for some reason underground. You can tell roughly where it goes. It goes all the way up there and then it starts up there. So I need to encase the jacaranda trees. And then do I try and case part of the lake? Do I cut off the lake with a wall? How do I do it? Maybe I just have it go over the lake or maybe it just goes up to the lake. Do I just do it so it's like hovering one block above? Cause it's not 1.13 so like wood will do that to it. I don't know what to do on that side of things. We'll finish just encasing the rest of the land in it. Okay, so it's kind of encased the entire land area. The way I'm thinking of doing it is doing like stone bricks and then fences for two layers like this and then stone bricks along the top and it lets me still see through the wall to see what's on the other side but it should also stop things like spiders climbing over because it's not just a flat solid surface. Also do not worry I do not plan on doing this for the entire episode. I know you'd be sat there like Scott we do not want to watch you placing down wood. But yeah I think that looks kind of cute. Simple, cute. We don't have the chisel mod so I can't like use fancy chisel blocks and I don't fancy doing like a big rainbow thing. We don't have rainbow oak leaves do we? No, because I could have done something similar to the fence I did on Harmony Hollow, but that took so much wood and so much time. Oh, I have more stone bricks. Where did you come from? Yeah, I don't know what to do here because mobs will just spawn in the water. So I don't know whether just to encase it off. Let me know in the comment section down below. I don't need to finish the wall today. Do I just run it across the water or do I run it along the edge of the water? But it does mean when I come out my house, like there's going to be a wall. So let me know. Well, now that we've done that, what we're gonna do is we're going to dig into the wall a little bit and sort of maybe start where we're planning on making other rooms. Okay, so that's where it's sort of going to go down. I also realize I've made a big mistake. I'm also really meant to be carrying my golden apple and regen potion on me at all times. I also kind of want to start my brewing stuff. But again, that also means I'm gonna to need to start a farm to grow my watermelon. This episode, like the last one, is just gonna be all over the place as I try and remember things I need to do. I think what I'm gonna do is just hoe some areas along the water and then make the melon seeds. Okay, once these start growing, that gives me enough stuff to like have basically unlimited potion stuff. And then we're gonna just also pop down a little shelf. This is temporary, do not worry. Pop that there. And then we want to make glass bottles. I've got enough for three. A bunch of you in the comments of the last video were like, you forgot gas tears. No, I'm not going for regen potions. I'm going for instant health potions. I ain't going near gas. So where does my nether wart? And I've got soul sand somewhere. I kind of want to have like a brewing room, but at the moment I just need an area. My house isn't going to look very cute for a few episodes. Okay, so that can grow. And then once that grows, we can start making our potions. Because then we also need some of our gold to turn into nuggets and then make some glistening melon. We're going to dig out a little bit more so I can maybe start forking off onto other rooms and pray I do not run into a cave system. As I said that, I break into this. Why did I jinx myself there? I'll maybe have it go down another two stairs and then that should be enough. That should be as deep enough that I do not worry about breaking onto the surface. And I'm just under my nether portal, I think? Which I will probably eventually move down here. And what's quite good is by doing this, I'm getting a bunch of cobble and I need the cobble for my wall. So what's pretty cool is I could probably go in here and have a room that goes out that way and maybe a room that goes there. Then you go down and I'll have another room in there and another room in there. And there'll be like chest room, brewing stand, enchanting room. I'll probably make this the enchanting room. Oh yeah, this is also a zombie spawner I found like right next to my house. Which will be great when I can turn it into an actual XP farm. I'm also going to go and plant this sugar cane. Probably just like along here. And now we can get into mining out this. The reason I wanted to plant that is so that it grows while I'm doing this. And I want the walls to be too thick because I want each room to maybe be a different color. So like one will be purple, one will be cyan, one will be pink, one will be red. Using the pastel blocks. The amount of stuff I want to do would be perfect for like streaming, but I'm also terrified that I will die. And if I die, I can tell I'm gonna be an emotional wreck. So I do not need you all seeing that. 
But just in case I do decide to stream it, make sure to follow me over at twitch.tv slash smajor1995. I stream almost every day and I've been playing a lot of Harmony Hollow over there. So if you do not want to miss out on other series, make sure to give it a follow. Okay, so something like that. This will be the enchanting table, which I could probably make now. I think I have enough stuff. Do I only have one piece of obsidian? What? Right. In which case, we're going to need to go and get another three pieces of obsidian. I'm actually going to be smart about this and I'm going to quickly run up and make a shield. Because if a skeleton sees me, it's got free time with me and I don't want that. Okay, we've got ourselves a shield. We'll pop that on. Okay, I hear water and I do see lava on the minimap. Oh, that's scary. Oh, that's really scary. There's lava down there. Now, I shouldn't need a lot. One bit, two bit, three bit. Okay, I will grab this gold as I'm down here and then we will be returning home. Oh no, I did a stupid. I lost my first heart. That's how I'm going to lose most of my hearts, is just being stupid. I've done so well without losing a heart. Big rep. Okay, so now we have the four. Do I have any leather? I don't think I do, but can I smelt this into... <gasps> I think I can smelt rotten flesh into leather, which is perfect. It does. Okay, that's great. I'm going to need more than that, though. I've got more rotten flesh. We will harvest the sugar cane while we're at it, and then we will get on with the making of books. Okay, so we've got that. We need two diamonds, and then it is obsidian, two diamonds, and a book at the top and then we can break this birch block because it's now an enchanting table oh wait you actually make the colored bookcases off it don't you don't you think i want birch bookcases not spruce bookcases so now it would let me do a level eight enchant not great but we're getting there maybe i should go out looking for some more sugar cane while that grows there's some more sugar cane next to town hall so i'm gonna go and grab this also, are these the flowers that make white dye? <gasps> it is. Okay, if I see any of those, I need to collect them. There's Joel's house. If people had sugarcane kind of farms, I could just harvest some of it because it'd grow back before they were on. But no one else seems to have that yet. 20 minutes later. Okay, that's me probably got as much as I'm going to find sugarcane wise. I might just not be able to do the full enchanting room today. Maybe we need to enchant next episode, which is fine. I'll manage. I also managed to get 47 of those flowers, which is going to make a lot of dye. And I got four more bookshelves. That was all I could find, like, sugarcane wise. And what would you give now? 18, efficiency to... Mm, yeah, I think we're just gonna wait. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode of One Life. If you did, remember to leave a like, comment down below with what are the best enchantments I should be maybe trying to get, because I'm still kind of a noob with it all. Subscribe if you're new to the channel, hit that notification bell so you do not miss a video, and I will see you next time. Bye!